have some great waves here on the Cocos Keeling, but the water sport that they're known for internationally isn't out here in the ocean. It's actually in there on their beautiful lagoon, and that's where I'm headed now. The trade winds blow through these islands from July to the end of September each year. And this is the time when the Cocos Keeling Lagoon comes alive with kite surfers who fly in from all over the world. Despite how it looks, I keep being told kite surfing isn't actually that hard to pick up. And everyone says Cocos is the place to learn. A local company, Zephyr, promises to take you from zero to hero. In their words, not mine. learning to surf in the Cocos so much better than anywhere else in the world. So here on Cocos Island we've got square kilometres of knee deep water. So um, it's a great place to learn because you can stand up if anything goes wrong. If at the end of the day you're still not happy, you just let the kite go and we'll come and get you. Oh, that's reassuring. You've come get me. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> lost anyone yet. <laughs> Very reassuring. Apparently the worst that can happen in this lagoon is you go across the knee deep water to the next island and have to do the walk of shame back. Before any walking or kiting though, some basics. How to control the kite. How to release the safety in an emergency. See this one? It is called the chicken loop. You release it when you want to chicken out. Ha, huh. we might be using that one a bit. Then there's the keeping the kite upright. The face plant. The double face plant. See how shallow it is here? The sand is soft, the water is warm. There is really no other place I would want to learn this sport. And watching the other carters around me is a huge inspiration to try and pick this up quickly. One thing you may have noticed about my instructor, apart from his unending patience, is the fact that he's rather well toned. Well, the good news about this sport is you don't have to be, and the old boys are great. So what sort, of, what sort of people are kite surfing on Cocos? It's just really just about anyone. It's not a muscle sport. Girls can learn it, my daughter's kites. Um, it's just an easy, relaxing sport. It yeah. really is. And look, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So how old are you then? I'm 70. 70? Well, I'm on my way to 71. <laughs> and how long have you been yeah. kite surfing for? Well, I started in 64. I just love it. That's my exercise for the day, not walking, but just having a kite. Have you ever seen a runner with a smile on his face? Never. <laughs> he has a point. You are looking at kite surfing Nirvana. No wonder people come here from all over the world. If you want to give it a go, Zephyr runs kite surfing courses on Cocos from July to the end of September. Another great way to spend some time here on the Cocos Keeling Islands.